this is our Emmy 191 project, our final project. And uh, basically what we did was we attached a robot, a simple robot, to the stepper motor. And basically what it does is, we can show you on the code. Um, first it prompts the user to input the robot number, which is uh, written on one of the robots. And basically the arm lock moves the robot a certain amount of degrees each time so and then the robot is the code for the input so that'll that's the first one that'll um, move that robot number and then it runs a for loop where it goes through eight times it moves steps in the y direction 85 steps and this e digital out code right here is what actually moves the stepper in the y direction um, then once that'll end once it moves into the y direction it'll run the the robot, it'll push down on one of the keys and then it'll run right through and it'll come back up to 85 steps to the next key it'll come back down, push it and it'll keep doing that 8 times Go So, this is our, our mechanical setup of the, the project This contains an XY robot and a robotic arm the XY robot will uh, be responsible for moving the, the robot arm in the X and Y direction. This direction here is considered the X direction. This is considered the Y direction here. And then the robotic arm can pivot on any one of these joints. Um, some of the issues that lie with this uh, robotic arm is the fact that when it, it is given a command to go to a certain spot, it will go go to that point, but actually the, mo the motion and the momentum of the, uh, uh, the robotic arm continues and it will actually go past it and come back. Uh, because of this, we had to design the code to uh, actually, when it goes to press one of the keys, it has to stop before it so that it uses the mo motion to press the key. Um, because otherwise what would happen is it would come all the way down, stop, and then come back up, which in, in that process it would hit the key more than once. Or it would hold the key down and it would, the numbers would come up like six or seven times until it released it. Okay, so now we're going to run the code. Um, we run it, type the number eight, which is the uh, number on the robot. Push the one, move it over 85 steps. In the y direction, positive y. And it like Get two. Like the green, the green. Moving over again, 85 steps. Coming down. Uh, and three. Yeah. Cool. Cool. 85 yeah. steps. And so on. And then it'll stop once it reaches number nine. As you can see before, when Pete was explaining, it uses its momentum to come down to hit that number instead of actually pushing on it and holding it down. So it taps it. Like There's just enough force to actually push the key down. I think I might have missed this nine. Uh, I missed the nine. But with a little bit of adjustment, we could hit every key accurately and precisely. Um, but with this type of programming, we could do much more stuff. Um, you could actually, what we were going to do was allow the user to input a word, and it would actually move to that letter of the word, and it would actually type it. And, but the code was way too long, and the robot wasn't accurate enough. Um, it would always miss the key or it would just put, push down on the key and hold it so it wouldn't be as accurate and precise, but this was a little bit easier to do.